the great conflict of the ages is about to intensify. But remember the words of Jesus, In me ye may have peace, in the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. Would you like to know how to exercise courage and fight the good fight of faith? Listen to this devotional. Conflict and Courage, a daily devotional by Ellen G. White. Until the day. And spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. 2 Peter 2 verse 5. God warned the inhabitants of the old world of what he purposed to do in cleansing the earth of its impurity. But they laughed to scorn what they regarded as a superstitious prediction. Many at first appeared to receive the warning, yet they did not turn to God with true repentance. They were unwilling to renounce their sins. During the time that elapsed before the coming of the flood, their faith was tested, and they failed to endure the trial. Overcome by the prevailing unbelief, they finally joined their former associates in rejecting the solemn message. Some were deeply convicted and would have heeded the words of warning, but there were so many to jest and ridicule that they partook of the same spirit and were soon among the boldest and most defiant scoffers. For none are so reckless and go to such lengths in sin as do those who have once had light but have resisted the convicting spirit of they continued their festivities and their gluttonous feasts. They ate and drank, planted and builded, laying their plans in reference to advantages they hoped to gain in the future. And they went to greater lengths in wickedness and in defiant disregard of God's requirements to testify that they had no fear of the infinite one. Had the antediluvians believed the warning and repented of their evil deeds, the Lord would have turned aside his wrath, as he afterward did for Nineveh. But by their obstinate resistance to the reproofs of conscience and the warnings of God's prophet, that generation filled up the measure of their iniquity and became ripe for destruction. The Lord has sent us, by his ambassadors, messages of warning, declaring that the end of all things is at hand. Some will listen to these warnings, but by the vast majority they will be disregarded. Thus will it be when Christ comes, farmers, merchants, lawyers, tradesmen will be wholly engrossed in business and upon them the day of the Lord will come as a snare.